Welcome back, everybody. I'm meteorologist Hayden Nix, along with Mr. Stephen Lim with the Museum of Discovery. This is another at-home discovery, but there's a little bit of a sidestep. <laughs> Actually, we need to go to the backyard. This is going to be a backyard discovery. We are getting to the time of the year where we have got some native animals starting to do their thing in preparation of the cooler season. So I've brought Mr. Stephen in to talk a little bit more about... <laughs> Which ones are going to be doing those things? And you've actually got them here with us. Oh, they're ready to go. Yeah, so this, you know, fall and winter, obviously just like us getting ready for the cold. Right. Animals outside in your backyard and around your house, house are getting ready to do their thing too, keep themselves safe during the winter. One of those animals, which fits in with our spooky season coming up, is the brown tarantula. These guys are very common in Arkansas, and so you guys might see these out and about. Uh, but you know, these guys are doing their thing and we would want you to leave them alone if you do find them because if you see tarantulas out and about during this time, chances are they are looking for love. We're, we're a little past the peak. Okay. The peak of their mating season is August, but it goes into October. October is when they kind of start burrowing up for the winter. So if you see these guys out and about, chances are they're roaming around looking for a mate and uh, trying to make some baby tarantulas. So. You wouldn't want someone to come step on you if you were looking for a partner. No. <laughs> and that's why he is holding on to the real one there because I don't even want to step <laughs> another foot closer to that guy. I've got this one here. It's fake, of course. You're very brave with the fake tarantula. If, if you saw one of these out there, we've got problems. But that's for another episode <laughs> there. So you've got the tarantula, but we've got someone who's being really active over there <laughs> in their little cage. And I wanted to She's been walking around our theater just ready to meet everybody this whole time. This is Legolas, okay. our box turtle, three-toed box turtle. Um, she's actually the one that kind of inspired us to do this little segment um, because you might see box turtles out and about a lot during this time. Now, these guys are also getting ready to go into a bit of a hibernation period. So they are trying to get their burrows situated. Um, they're unlike maybe some, uh, maybe a mammal that would try and eat lots and lots of food before winter, like a bear. Mm -hmm. These guys are actually trying to clear all of that out. Okay. So they're probably gonna be fasting, not gonna be eating a whole lot, and just trying to get their burrows prepped and ready for the winter. Because in here in Arkansas, the winters don't get too bad. Right. So they're not, it's not as critical for them. Mm -hmm. um, and these guys, in the fall, they start to move into the forested areas rather than in the spring, they'll be in the grasslands. But since we can still get those colder days, it is essential for these guys to kind of get their homes ready to keep themselves nice and cool. Hi, how you doing, Legolas? <laughs> just want to be very right yeah, now. most box turtles you're gonna find out in the wild, they're just gonna close into their shells. Uh, but Legolas is very used to people. So right. she's out and about wanting to meet everybody, wanting to be on camera. <laughs> well, say hello to Legolas and then say goodbye because we've Bye, got Legolas. one more <laughs> She's napping a bit. She's ready for the camera. And what is her name? This is Molasses or Molly. She is one of our Virginia opossums. So we went from tarantula furry to yeah. mammal furry here. Now these guys are not going to be changing their habits a whole lot during the winter, but uh, if it gets particularly cold, these guys, opossums, even though they're found pretty much over most of the U.S., their ancestors are actually from South America. So they're not super well adapted to really cold climates. They have lots of exposed little toes, ears, nose, and that big old tail on the back there. So if it gets a little bit colder, they actually do have to find shelter because they're really susceptible to frostbite. So if it tends to get colder, she's gonna, or not here at the museum, we've got right. taken care of her, but Virginia opossums you might find out in your backyard, they're gonna be looking for a nice warm place to stay. The nice thing about being an opossum is that they eat just about everything. Mm -hmm. Fruits, vegetables, bugs, meat, fish, whatever they can find. So food's never really gonna be in short supply for these guys. Right. It's helpful being an omnivore. <laughs> Hi. Checking things out there. <laughs> this has been fantastic. And by the way, folks, just a little bit of a weather tidbit for you. The first uh, stage of frost for us here in Arkansas, you can check out our website, kark.com forward slash weather knowledge. <laughs> You'll go on there and we actually have articles on there to talk about the average first frost and first freeze days. So once we move into October, which will be next week, and also into November, frosts happen in October for the most part, first freezes happen in November. So these guys definitely, like Molly, <laughs> are trying to get prepared for when that does happen. We'll make, she's ready for a nap. Absolutely. We'll make sure to look at that frost report and let them all know just so they're prepared. <laughs> well, thank you, Steve, for letting us come by and check out these awesome
awesome animals, and of course, they've got a few more downstairs. Come to the museum discovery to check them out. We'll see you.